Good morning. It's Thursday. Yay. Happy pre-Friday, everyone. How are you? Hopefully, you're not down and out. I know sometimes when it comes to the holidays, some people are really bummed out. Either because a prior holiday didn't go well, or you lost a loved one and they're no longer here, or it's just too much stress. Like, I honestly feel like people put too much pressure on Christmas from the gift giving, from the having to be all extra and people forget the true meaning of the season, which is not the whole gift giving part. It's not the whole, what am I going to get? You know, what am I going to be doing? It's more about spending time with your loved ones and remember the season, the reason for the season. The reason, I don't know who or what you believe in, but it's, for me, it's in regards to the birth of Jesus. You know, that whole story. So, I'm still, my husband and I are still toying with the fact of whole Santa and everything. But we have a little bit of time because our prince is only one. And we don't even have a tree up yet. We're, we'll get it up. Yes, don't. No comments on that. <laughs> but... I know some people out there may be down and out, may be sad, may not be feeling the holidays. And, you know, I kind of feel you on that. I feel like some people are too materialistic with it. However, what I am focusing on is creating great memories. Creating great memories of the people I love. Starting new traditions. Like, my family doesn't know, but we're going to start a new um, tradition, new contest in the house (laughs) that we're going to do probably Christmas morning because I have some family coming in town from I think Texas and New York now so if they come over for breakfast we're going to start a new tradition and have a new contest and have some fun because it's really about just getting together making memories like when I grew up I used to go to my paternal grandmother's house in the Bronx and we used to have a party we used to open our gifts Uh, Christmas Eve and then my maternal grandmother's house I used to go over there Christmas Day and then we used to have dinner and everything like that so as a kid yes the the gifts the whole Santa if that's what you believe in then you do that but as an adult it can get really really stressful and as I told you guys yesterday I haven't bought gifts yet yeah Amazon Prime is gonna be my friend or Costco's or wherever I get stuff from but I'm not going overboard like I'm not breaking a bank for a holiday and I've had too many experiences where people are just like oh I wanted this or oh this person got me that or this and that like people it's not about the gift giving let's please get out of that so the people who are down and out and in the blues and stuff like that just just remember that you are blessed Everyone that you may want here is it may not be here. Like my father's not here and he passed in twenty fourteen and you know, the whole house is sick. Uh, everyone may not be in the area in the household that I want them to be in. I have a family member who's going through something right now with cancer. Cancer sucks by the way, but we'll get through it and I you know, I can be down and out. Things aren't going as I way I wanted to in the, at the office. You know, just a whole lot of things may not be going your way. But just remember the positive things that are going on in your life. And if you were to put all your problems in a pile against someone else's, you, I'm guaranteed you'll take yours back. Because you don't know what other people are going through. You don't know what, you know, is going on behind the curtains. Isn't the skyline beautiful? Like, you see the clouds and you see, like, the little sun. Like, little things like that. Stop and admire the skyline. Smell the roses. Even though there's not many roses out here, the trees are pretty bare. But I'm saying all this to say is turn that frown upside down, smile, make great memories. Like, I appreciate a a, a great memory (laughs) over any gift. Like, I told my husband, don't buy me any gifts. We have goals. Like, we need to focus on our goals. And a gift is cool and all, but the moments with gifts are fleeting. Like, let's start a new tradition let's go somewhere like let's spend some quality time together be at the movies or wherever like i don't know call me plain jane call me penny pension uh patricia whatever (laughs) i just made that one up hopefully you like that you can use that so you know just make memories have fun pick up the phone call someone you love 
and just just don't get crazy with the holidays because that's what the whole economy they want you to go out there and spend money and really we need to focus on where we're spending our money because we do not support one another as much as we need to in regards to our community like look at some of and this is nothing against like say the asian community or like just communities that keep their money in-house you see how prosperous they are like you see how like thriving they are and it's not like they're flashy with it standing in line for like five hundred dollar shoes or two hundred dollar sneakers or three hundred i don't even know how much they cost nowadays they are they may see them in the same jeans every day you may see them you know doing the same routines not having a flashy life but look at their bank account like they they caked up they stacked up because they have the appropriate principles and that's something that we all need to think about i know the new year is coming up we're thinking about our goals what do we want to achieve we need to really think about our financial aspect and where we're putting our dollars how we're spending them and things of that nature and not saying money is going to solve everything but a lot of people worry about it like how you're going to pay for school how you're going to pay for food how you're going to pay for the roof over the top of your head so those are things we need to think about not how many gifts we gonna get someone or how expensive it's gonna be like yeah we should have priorities people let's put our priorities in perspective and not stress the things that should not be stressed and really try not to be stressed like what i'm going to do and i was telling um bianca last night is that i'm gonna start yoga I've, i've been doing like heavy high intensity workouts i'm starting yoga a three week yoga program that is available online streaming and if anyone wants to join me they can i'm starting on monday and i'm going to focus on my nutrition because you see my face is breaking out that's due to like stress on flow and just probably some of my eating um so i'm going to get that under control because i went to the dermatologist this week and she was like it's not that bad (laughs) she wanted to give me an injection for this bump i was like no i'm not going there i'll let it go down naturally so if you ever had injections in your face let me know but i'm going to focus on my zen focus on my happiness focus on my peace inside because i feel like that is so important and then after i finish that i'm going back to hardcore stuff (laughs) because mama has some trips (laughs) coming up mama has a two-piece she's going to get ready for but i just want to end this new end this year 2016 begin 2017 on a positive accord on a peaceful accord on just knowing what i want how i'm gonna get it but then also being happy and not being stressed because the things that are going on in my life right now you can be like stressed pulling out your hair in the corner crying in the closet don't want to come out and i choose my happiness i choose not to dwell on those things that are bringing that could bring someone down i really choose not to do that because life is too short life is too short and everything does not have to turn out for the worst so remember the universe is listening what you put out there is what you're going to get in regards to the positive or negative vibes so just be positive just know that there's a lot of options out there you choose your destiny you have to work for it but don't be sad during the holidays like do something that you enjoy be it taking a bath be it walking in the park whatever do something that's fun create a new memory for this holiday season don't think about whatever has went on don't i don't want anyone to be sad during this holiday so just focus on creating memories and if you want to talk i'm here but i just didn't want i don't want anybody to be sad i don't want anybody to focus on the whole gift giving part and all that other crazy stuff because that's not the reason for the season let's think about it people so have a great day i have a meeting in 45 minutes so i need to go but just think about it think about how you when you go back and look at oh this holiday season oh what did i do what's going to be that lasting memory that you're going to have from this 2016 holiday all right And then what new tradition are you going to put? Put it down there in the comment. All right? I hope you have a a terrific Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Pre-Friday. Yay! Holiday weekend coming up. 
and I wish you peace and blessings to you and yours. And we'll be talking later. Bye. Thanks for joining.